perspective stitch uh, band is opposite of the point de tress that we just did. And it also shares holes with the road stitch. The, this is a variation of the perspective stitch. It's not the, a true per perspective stitch. Now, you have diagrams for each layer, and I recommend that you look at the diagrams carefully because the first layer is not like the second and third layers. You're gonna start with your darkest color, just like you did uh, with the point de tress. And the first little area is four threads. I'm sorry, four stitches. Each stitch covers four diagonal intersections. If you don't see diagonals, count um, four canvas threads to the right and four canvas threads down when you're doing the upper area and four canvas threads to the right and four canvas threads up when you're doing the, from the bottom. Okay, so that will be your first stitches with the darkest color. Then you're gonna take the next darkest color and stitch the next part of the perspective stitch. And I want you to notice that there is a canvas thread between these stitches. They are not gonna meet. Again, this is gonna be over uh, four canvas threads and uh, this time you're only going to stitch a group of three. I've given you a, a really good diagram of the first layer of the perspective stitch so that you won't have to guess. Just look at it carefully and I have to confess that even though it's my design and I designed it and I did the diagrams and everything when I was stitching it I did not look carefully and had to rip quite a bit out because I well of course I didn't have diagrams to go by because I hadn't created them yet. <clears throat> okay after the Next to the darkest color, you'll pick up the medium color. And again, there's going to be one canvas thread between the groups of stitches. Another group of three. I found this very complex to try to figure out where I was going to need the thread next. So I just parked my thread on top of the canvas instead of trying to figure out where I would need it next. Okay, now I'm ready for the next to the lightest color. And again, there's a canvas thread between the sections. The endpoints should line up as you're stitching this. Okay, I'm ready for the lightest color.
The stitches share holes in the center. Okay, and then you'll finish with the contrast color. The band should cover Forty-four canvas threads when completed. So that's one way that you'll know when to stop when you've covered forty-four canvas threads. Now there is some little compensating um, with this color at the end to uh, make the band cover forty-four canvas threads. And the canvas is going to be solidly covered on top, so you don't need to worry about your thread carries on the bottom. Okay, that's the first layer of the perspective stitch. The second layer, you're going to start again from the left side. All of the bands are going to start from the left side with your lightest color. And these will be groups of four stitches. The second layer of the perspective stitch will begin with the contrast color and this time there will be groups of four stitches instead of groups of three. So you'll have four stitches that form a chevron this way, you'll have four stitches that form a chevron this way, and so on across. So you'll have the contrast color, then the lightest color, the next to the lightest color, the medium color, next to the darkest, and the darkest. The darkest color you'll have uh, some con uh, compensating stitches at the very end, but it's all diagrammed for you on page 40, the whole entire second layer. The last layer of the uh, perspective stitch variation is going to begin again on the left edge and you're going to begin with the medium color. This is the medium color. Then you'll stitch with the medium dark and the darkest, the contrast, the lightest, and the medium light. And so that gives you an interesting color uh, variation throughout the whole band because the first layer was darkest to lightest with the contrast. The second layer was contrast, then lightest to darkest. In the third layer, we begin with the medium color, work toward the contrast, and then ended with the lightest colors. So that is the perspective stitch variation.